and a special welcome aboard to any member of the U.S. military who might be traveling with us. This week started off with us flying into State College with Chris Caldwell. We landed here around 4 o'clock and Erica Smithwick uh, picked us up to take us over to the dorms. Then on Monday, uh, Erica picked us up at around 10 o'clock so that we could go check out the forests around the local area. Uh, we were able to drive up to the top of one of the mountains here and able to see the whole valley. That was an incredible view. And the other was just an experimental forest that the college used um, and a lot of students would go there and study. Um, that was really cool because the experimental forest, they don't really do any management there. They just kind of let it, let it be, um, which is really important for um, research. Um, and it was really cool seeing a different forest because we spent a lot of time in the Menominee Forest. So now it was cool to go to somewhere, someplace else and look at that. Um, it was actually really interesting because one of the places that we went to was a burn site that got burned like eight years ago. So in comparison to what we've seen like on the reservation, this was sort of, it was definitely older and had more growth going on in, with it. So it was a very cool comparison to have to see. So that's what we did on Monday. On Tuesday, um, in the morning we took care of some paperwork and such. And then in the afternoon, we got to see where we were working. Uh, it turns out that we're working in the office that's behind Jade's, who we met in the very first week of this project. Uh, and then, personally, I started uh, programming. I started working on the VR application that we are going to have at the end of this whole project. So that was really interesting, getting set up to learn how to do VR stuff within Unity, and also just, you know, learning more about Unity 3D. We had... Jake doing all of the coding, um, basically the mastermind behind the app. Um, we have Nicholas doing all of our storyboarding, um, just visualizing how everything's going to look. Um, and then I took on the role of just writing out the narrative for the voiceovers and throwing together our documentary. Um, and then that continued into Wednesday as well. So on that day I figured out how to, uh, I started work on figuring out how to get a gyroscope input from a phone into being able to uh, control a camera's movement within Unity. So that was interesting. Then on Thursday, we did some more of that in the morning and then we got to have an opportunity to have a discussion with uh, David Tipley who is a retired Rear Admiral of the U.S. Navy and he's also a meteorologist and pretty much he discussed with us um, sort of the stuff that uh, Stacy was telling us about, about um, how to present scientific stuff to um, people that don't necessarily have the know-how and such. So it's pretty much making like science more so approachable and easy to access when you present it and such. A lot of the people that were in that room were scientists. So um, although I'm not a scientist, it was cool to sit in there and listen to that, um, listen to him because he was mainly telling these students how to talk to people like politicians, like he used um, Ted Cruz for example, like how do you tell someone like this, um, how do you speak their language? Because when you use words that they have no idea what that means, you know, it's just going to go over their head. And it was funny because all the words he was using was going over my head. And everybody else in the room seemed to understand what he was talking about. So um, 
but that was cool because just in terms of public speaking, stuff that he was saying was very important. Then on Friday, we spent like the a good portion of the morning working on the uh, VR project once again, and then in the afternoon, we went to a really cool place called the Dreamery. Life could be a dream. Life could be a dream. Do 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 shaboom. We went to the Dreamery, which was really cool. It was all like augmented reality, uh, virtual reality, and all the stuff in between. It's really cool that Penn State has that stuff here. They have 3D printers there. They have a place where you can go and record yourself for presentations. And of course they have games. So we were able to check out all the fancy games. We got to go and go in a castle and uh, fight people. We got to play this game where you could uh, go into jobs and just mess around and do stuff. It was really fun. We even got to see a thing where they use for meetings where it's a device that essentially someone from at home um, can, can check out that place by just kind of controlling where the thing moves around and then they can see what the thing sees and the people in the room can also like talk to them. It, it was really cool. Oh, life could be a dream, life could be a dream. Switch size. Uh oh, here we go. Yep, there we go. <laughs>